certainly an issue for us on boating and fishing, tourism. This is a message from Senator Debbie Stabenow Tuesday morning as she prepares to tour Northeast Michigan in hopes of finding resources to address erosion. We have what we call the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, nationally, that gets involved with disasters, usually after the fact. They do have some dollars that can help beforehand. So, but it's not really geared to the kind of things we're talking about here. Locally, Roger City and Alpena have seen the impact of the waves and eroding shoreline in their own backyards. We've had some damage already that we know about to some of our our parks, our you know sidewalks, just some public infrastructure um, that we really would like to have in shape um, by the spring in order to um, you know make it available to the public. But if something isn't done to stop Mother Nature, that may not be possible. According to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, water levels in the Great Lakes are expected to reach their highest in July of this year. You know, we hope that that doesn't come to fruition, but, you know, if it does, we want to be prepared for it. And there are even some bigger worries looming at the municipal level. At least for the city of Alpena, the water treatment plant sits on the shoreline. The area also uses a system of dams that could fail if water levels start to affect their functionality. As for Senator Stabenow, she's working to secure resources that will combat erosion statewide and locally before it swallows us up. We have to address erosion because we have these beautiful beaches and we have uh, boating and fishing and Thunder Bay and, and all the resources that are here. But um, this is a, a wonderful community with uh, uh, a lot of uh, wonderful services being provided and it's always great to be here.